Oh, I think I'm live. Yeah. I'm live talking into a microphone that is not a microphone that actually does anything for you. Um, hello, I'm just looking here at the Slack channel. Please, if you are watching this right now and you can hear me and you can see me, then just give me some thumbs and everything's fine. Just put some like thumbs up emojis or whatever. It's We're live. I got a feedback. Okay. Hi. Um, so I'm in my office here at, uh, where am I? I'm at the Tisch School of the Arts, which is part of New York University, which is in New York City, and this is the ITP and the IMA program. So ITP is a two-year master's program. It's been around for almost 40 years. This October will be the 40th anniversary or the 40th annual year, whatever. It's been 40 years, but the IMA program has been around for, oh, carry the one, three months, two months, I don't know, very little time. Um, so we're gonna see some uh, grad student, interesting, fun, creative, wacky, meaningful, interactive projects, and we will also possibly see some undergraduate ones. So I think, from what I can tell, I'm getting only thumbs up, things are working. Let's just look at this to make sure everything is recording. So this is back, so just so you know, this thing that I'm holding here is backup audio. The audio that's live streaming is coming from a mic that is mounted on top of the camera, which Jenny is holding. I, you can't, I guess you can hi. flip the candle to the camera to say hi. hi. Um, and um, so hopefully that's gonna be a better audio experience for the live stream, but after the live stream finishes, we will also make a edited version of a highlighted bunch of projects and have uh, this backup audio to work with as well. Okay, um, so let's move on. First I wanna show off this beautiful poster. Uh. This is by uh, Coding Train. This I probably should have gotten a longer cable. Coding Train viewer uh, Simon Tiger. This is a times table visualization, which I think is based on a Mathologer. Mathologer? Mathologer? How do you say that uh, video? But, uh, YouTube video, which is one of my favorite YouTube channels. Great work, Simon. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Into the, into the foray. <laughs> Here, you, you can walk out and start going towards the middle. I don't have to be in the shop constantly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go right through. And let's go find some rockets to look at. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, look, we can start right here. Can we start with... Oh, boy! <laughs> it's okay, everything's fine. <laughs> oh, should, should I photograph you? Yeah, while microphone you... disaster. <laughs> oh, I'm going so well. I have so many different microphones. Hold on. Let's let me fix this here. This goes in. All right, here we go. All right, so let me just check what's going on here. So this is recording. This Someone is says, recording. "Don't destroy the room, dude." And then this here. So maybe what I'll do is I'm actually maybe I'll just put this in my pocket. So the ambient recording is not going to be. But we have plenty of good ambient recording from that. Okay. Plus, this is ambient. Everything is ambient. Okay. And let's just, oh wait, I can, let's turn it around so we can see if there's red lights. This is the, oh, this is the best way to start the live stream. Yeah, right? Oh, the jeans are very thick. Okay. Let's see if there's red light, red light there so the battery is still working. <laughs> Things are falling. This is just like a new piece of jewelry that I'm going to wear. Um, all right. Let's try this again. Okay, so uh, tell us your, I'm gonna come stand over here. Okay. Tell us your name, I'm, tell us a little bit about your project. This, okay. this is the first one we're doing, so we're, we're trying to get this figured out. The way that we're gonna work this, everybody watching, is first we're gonna interview, so we get like the two or three sentence summary, yeah. and then we will go and actually shoot some video of the footage. We'll do those separately, because it's nice to have this a separate piece in case people want to put it together later. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a first year at ITP, and um, I created a project about dyslexia, so I wanted to create a project that would uh, bring up the frustrations that dyslexics face while learning a language. So I created an alphabet and had are having people read and write in this language that I can. Awesome. Should I try it, or is it best you if you demonstrate it? You like can how? try it. So you put on the headphones. Um, unfortunately, I maybe can unplug it. Okay. If you want to unplug it, just to, um, otherwise we won't hear any of the audio. Yeah. If that's a big thing to do, then we don't have to. So when you scan a coin, I don't know if the audio is Yeah, you might have to put the headphones in. Whoops. Um, so when you scan a coin, um, over the headphones, it'll say, 
the letter um, that you're scanning. And so you can kind of decode the language. And then when you're ready, you can scan in the right section and you can write any word that you want. And then these are words that pe previous people have written. So I'm just, I'm just doing these random things. Yes. <laughs> But the idea is that I would learn yes, this, and yes. then I would actually be able to. And then you can submit. Um, and so then your word is there, and then at previous people's words are there. So the idea is that it's kind of frustrating, and you have to really learn to match the sound to the symbols. Um, and that kind of replicates the dyslexic experience when they're ready. Just gonna, I'm going to do this. I have no idea if this is going to do anything. <laughs> but I'm going to put this microphone in here. It's probably a terrible idea. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's go into this room. Might as well kind of. Then we could come back. Then it's dark in here, but maybe can you first um, say your name? This is live streaming, by the yeah. way. All right, yeah. Okay. So um, tell us your name and Hi. tell us just a few sentences about your project. Sorry, and we'll try it. All right, yeah. Hi, I'm Lisa, and uh, this is Sid, and we built this laser heart. And uh, yeah, it's two concentric circles, and uh, in time, it's going to allow you to play satellites data, so like the positions and sonification. Right now, it's just playing them. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't, I'm, I'm, tell me, explain to me this thing about playing satellite data. Yeah. I didn't realize this yesterday. Was no, okay, how does, so. How does that work? That's why it has that shape. So, uh, it's like uh, inspiration from the astro astrology instrument in the 16th century. Um, and it's for a new project um, called Warm Canopy. It's a music project that my friend is doing, uh, Freddie Witts. And so, this is going to be an instrument that he's going to play. Uh, with live streaming satellite data. So the, there's a lot of space debris, so like the debris is gonna probably uh, determine the amount of noise in the sound. Wow. So we're gonna take live data into it and then play cool. it. All right, um, do, you want to, do you want to demonstrate it for us? Yeah, sure. So basically these are strings, apparently. So I just turn it on. All right, so um, just say your name and a two couple sentences about what it is that you made. Yeah, my name is Lydia. Um, this is a sort of an abstract data visualization. Each cube represents a different neighborhood in Chicago, and it's displaying a few different data sets, and with the sliders you can um, play around and kind of emphasize different data and see how it changes the outcome of what you're looking at. Awesome. Can you demonstrate it for us? We'll get yeah. some closer up shots of it. Yeah. Um, so right now I'm changing the blue squares. These are, this is showing the number of schools in each neighborhood. So I'm really emphasizing that. And I'm gonna take away grocery stores and then I'll add vacant houses and unemployment rate. So you can see what that looks like in each neighborhood. And then I can also redraw it um, to have a different configuration and see how that sort of 
changes the um, the picture. Yeah. And the scale seems like a really interesting question around this. So obviously you're limited by what you can do with the show yeah. here. But do you have sort of imagine if you could? There were no limitations <laughs> like how you would want to build this. Well, this is so there are 77 neighborhoods in Chicago, and this is just showing five of them. So it'd be really cool to have 77 right. cubes. Um, and then I'd also like to. This is kind of this was motivated by in data analysis, like and machine learning, like assigning different weights to different data. Right. Uh, or like different variables and how that really changes the your outcome of your analysis. And so I'd like to have kind of like another sort of variable that you can change. So like if you configure the sliders mm -hmm. this way, then it's the background color or some other factor changes so you can kind of see see more right. the outcome of what and, you've done. Yeah. And has anybody from Chicago come to the show? Yeah, a few people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're trying to guess the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did they, was anybody able to guess? Um, it? No, <laughs> no. Not really. I, yeah, it's really hard yeah. to tell. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Great yeah. job. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. Hey, live okay. stream watchers. Um, Dan is not holding the Zoom recorder because he's using a lavalier microphone and an external microphone. Yeah. So please stop writing that he should hold the Zoom recorder. Yes, look, look, see, look. I have, I've got, we have four, four different microphones going right now. Four. It's the mo that's the world record for the number of microphones I've ever used at once. <laughs> okay. Are, are you ready to demonstrate this now? Uh, definitely. Okay, so um, if you could just give us, say your name. Is this a collaboration? Yes. So yes. can both of you come over here? Yes. Yeah. Um, and tell us your uh, names and where you're from and uh, a few sentences about what you made and then we'll get some footage of you uh, playing around with it. Or, or sure. so that, go ahead. Oh, my name is Dana. Um, from originally from uh, Tel Aviv, Israel and this is my first year here. <laughs> and, uh, I'm Matt Ross. I'm from Long Island and I live here in New York. And we're first years here at ITP. And we decided to do a collaboration in a physical computing, uh, computing class. And this is the, our reflected landscape. Yes. Um, so the reflected count. landscapes is a sound and light instrument collaboration sequencer sampler insert musical term here. The idea is we want to give people the ability to control uh, the energy that kind of comes when a sound gets delayed or echoed. And so each one of these sliders controls a distinct color and sound. And so, oh, as right. please, I'll turn off the volume. Yeah, turn off, please. So as you can see, as I move a slider to the middle of the bank, a light and a color starts emanating from here. So you have the the, cent the epicenter of the sound, and it gets emitted from where it started. And you have the ability to kind of move it around. It's like little arrows. Yes, they are exactly arrows. Are um, little arrows. I didn't notice that yesterday. No. Our entire purpose was sometimes to create uh, collisions between two errors. So now there is an error and a, a collision, and now there is a third collision. Oh, no, little concentric circle. Exactly. And you can always break those collisions and go back to create new ones uh, if you want. Each time that a collision occurs, the sound is being uh, changed uh, to maybe a greater sound or a better feedback. spend a lot of time uh, thinking about the color, also how to get out from the LED uh, regular uh, RGB mode. So it was also a journey to understand like how to create this compelling peach light, like like the color. And uh, yeah. yeah, I think for this piece, one of the biggest things is a lot of times visuals are kind of the representation of sound, um, but we want to kind of like have this idea where here's a visual communication, visual metaphor of this thing that's used in, in music so much, echo and delay, and what if we were able to like kind of create this metaphor that made it kind of really obvious to people how this, how this thing, how this mode of communication works. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Please, uh, please enjoy. Great job. project and then we'll get some footage of it after that. Okay, uh, my name is Marcela, uh, I'm from Brazil, and well, my project is called Imersa, 
it's a sculpture that builds itself when you're there with it trying to happen. Uh, basically, I was thinking about my relationship with like coming here and everything that happened, having to connect with a lot of people, and especially after what what's happening in my country, uh, how hard it was for me to try to talk to people about it and uh, try to uh, create some empathy or something. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Just look into it. You can, oh, you don't need this. But yeah, you just look from here. Can you see inside there? Be <laughs> oh. <laughs> I made that happen. I'll come back. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Did you make a specific choice to have it? Um, like move in these like very sharp steps uh, or because it seems very different than the quality of times when you sort of smoothly up. And yeah, uh, actually that was kind of an accident because I didn't have the motors that I wanted to have uh, and that was the way that I figured out how to do it but I could make it uh, less in steps yeah. but I, I had uh, good feedback with people saying even like that there were a lot of people were just yeah. like oh my god and when I'm talking about what I'm, what right. I'm talking about is not something that is only beautiful right. and right. amazing it's un so, it's less comfortable that way yeah so it kind of works even though the, the quality of the you know the sort of the, co the the sort of sparkly nature of it is very sort of like soothing and meditative and the sounds but yet it's kind of harsh as it moves so I think that does work awesome cool great job <laughs> Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, all right. So, um, can you first maybe don't turn it on yet? Sure. Maybe we should make that be a surprise. <laughs> maybe you could just uh, tell me your name and uh, a few sentences about your project and where you're from. So okay. people like to know. Uh, my name is Elif Dimitrieva. I'm from Kazakhstan, and yeah. this project is called the POV Globe, uh, data visualization reimagined. And I wanted to get away from the 2D usual uh, screens and have the spatial data being visualized spatially. That's what I came up with. Okay, let's make sure we get a shot of it before you turn it on. And then you can go for it. I don't wonder what this will pick up as a refresh rate of the camera. So can you describe just what, uh, how this is connected to the data? Or it's, maybe it's not yet, that's what you're imagining it for? And how you imagine it be connected to the data? Yes, so uh, right now for the demonstration purpose in the show, you know, it's a of people, I have decided to show the full spectrum of the colors being represented on the globe so that people can see what is possible. Yeah. And uh, children get attracted as well <laughs> when they see different colors been changing. And uh, in the future, I want to transmit data wirelessly so that I can recreate different images that people have already taken and convert it into the image of the world itself. Great job. Wonderful. Okay. How are you doing there, Jenny? You okay? Good, you can good, take good. a break. We can take a Everyone's break. Everyone's still mad about the Zoom recorder. Oh, what? Wow. Guys, <laughs> pull it with the Zoom recorder. I hope there's some moderators in the chat. In the, uh... <laughs> uh, actually, let me double check to make sure this is still going. Because I put it in my pocket. And, uh, okay, I see this is recording. I'm getting lav mic. I'm getting lav mic. Okay, so I think we're good. Go ahead. Thanks. Okay. All right, we'll go this way, I guess. All right. I really love this project. Thank you. <laughs> This is both of you, yes? Yes. Yeah, so do, um, I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> Let's come look at this and we'll come right back.
because I don't actually didn't get to see this one yesterday. Oh my goodness, can you, this is your project? Yes. Can you, what, can you tell us your name and uh, uh, two sentences about it? Uh, okay, um, my name is Jegu, and this is a project for the Focus Helper. This is uh, based on idea that how to reduce misunderstanding in conversation. So I want to make people really private space, so just focus on their opponents. So and inside of this product, it has a magnifying lens and mics. And if you close to your person, you focus on their face and then you magnify their faces and you can hear more clearly the voice of the uh, partner or opponent. Yes. Amazing. I don't know if Thank you want to you. try to like... I don't want to interrupt uh, what they're doing over there. Oh, Nancy's in there, right? Oh, Nancy's in there. Oh, we can interrupt Nancy. Can you describe what's going on in there? Nancy, can you hear me? Oh, can you describe what's going on in there? Nancy, Are you... Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm interrupted. I've defeated the whole purpose of this project. No, so this is, this is kind of like... You know the cone of silence? Uh-huh, yeah. This is kind of like the cone of silence. Are you, but are you, do you see anything? Yeah, you should try it. Okay, I definitely will. Can you try it and do this? I suppose. All right. <laughs> it's, it's a, I, Nancy, you should stay. Okay. You should stay. <laughs> and we're going to put it back in there. Okay. I don't wait. You ruined my purpose of the project. <laughs> no. I talked to her. Okay. Well, no wonder you couldn't hear me. You're wearing headphones. I, that's right. All right. It's it's tricky getting in. Don't don't. You're gonna be tempted to. No, no, no. First to your head. Careful, you gotta see your head. Uh, Daniel. First head, and then you. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm now in the focus. Oh man. I can hear Nancy. And there's a magnifying lens. Your face yeah. is very large. <laughs> okay. That's not happening. Wait, that's good. Unfortunately, people can't hear you. I'm going to put this microphone up by the head. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see from above? What happens if I press this button? <laughs> that, was the that was very intense. I what is the? I forgot it was live. And yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> We're good. What? I want to know what the button does. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Nancy could get out of it. And we're gonna come over here. Up. Oh, what happened to your partner? SJ. Come on over. <laughs> okay. Uh, so tell us your name and uh, a few sentences about your project. All right. So my name is SJ. Um, this project is called Islands of Sound. So it's an interface where you can tap on these objects to mix different ambient sounds. Uh, so the way that the, the person who experiences is where the headphones, and then once you tap on these objects, it'll trigger a different sound, and you can tap them again, and turn them off. You can adjust the volume by putting on this bar, turn down the volume by putting on this bar, and just explore how different combination of sounds can help. Where'd you get the idea from? Um, to, like, yeah, my name's Ellie, and uh, our idea basically is to like play with the sounds of like the nature and of artificial materials. So um, we chose four sounds reflecting the properties of those objects. Two of them are natural materials, and the, the other two are artificial materials. And uh, we try to build a connection between human like. Uh, the physical environment that we are living in and the nature world. So that's the idea. I love the the choices you made for these different. I, I don't know, but calling them buttons feels wrong <laughs> in the way they're buttons because you're touching them. But it's like it's a really nice uh, progression and sort of they're each so distinct in their own way. Beautiful. Thank you. And you did an excellent job masking this projector. We talked about this yesterday. Yeah. You can barely. It just feels very organic. Excellent.
Thank awesome. You. Okay, great job. Okay. Uh, oh, is this the fingerprint? It's a fingerprint. All right, let's try the fingerprint. Do you want to try the fingerprint? Okay, sure. Okay, so first, um, tell us your Hi. name, where you're from, and a couple sentences about your project. Okay, um, my name is Xiu. I'm Chinese from China. So my pro uh, my project's about like fingerprint visualization and certification. So basically, a user when they put a fingerprint on it, the finger on the uh, devices. And then the, the, uh, this fingerprint will be show up uh, by visualizing like a star, a galaxy on the screen. And you will be able to move in and drag your fingerprint, the sound will come out. So it's basically like this. Cool, okay, so can we try it? Yeah, sure, happy to go ahead. Oh, oh, I don't, I do it here. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Can, so first okay. of all, you need to put your fingerprint. Oh, okay, but well, I don't press start first. Just fake, fake fingerprint first. Okay. Reading okay. my fingerprints. Right, and then you can bring start. You can bring start. Oh, just oh, okay, I'm going to wear the yeah, headphones. Yeah, have one. So many projects have headphones, which makes it very hard for people watching to experience, but I will tell you what I'm hearing. Uh, okay. Oh, just put a start and that's all. There'll be a sound. I'm hearing some beautiful, like, wind chime-like sounds. Okay, I'm going to press start. Look at this uh, fan thing. Are you accepting visitors? <laughs> Can I ask you to introduce yourself and tell us about this beautiful fan? Okay. Hi. Oh, I'm Joe Baker, and uh, this is my fan. I was inspired by uh, the Japanese folding fans, so I decided just to make a really large one and make it express itself through. Uh, you know, visuals and communicate with uh, you know the digital world. Uh, businessman has come from the uh, the businessman, a uh, business fan comes from the businessman that had this fan that first tried that idea. It's so beautiful and soothing. I almost feel like, I mean, I love how these, these graphics are wonderful and it's so they're connected in a really interesting way. But I almost feel like I just want to be in a room with nothing else. Get rid of the ice cream show. Get rid of the screens and just like yeah, yeah. just meditate with the fan. Right? Yeah, yeah, that was the yeah. idea to have a very like calming motion. Yeah. Way. Did you? Is this like? Did you try different speeds and this one felt right or? Uh, well, this is the uh, the smoothest one I can get on its own. Uh, before it was very jerky uh -huh. and it was just yeah. like kind of like. Yeah. So um, I wanted to make it more as natural as possible right. without me right. having control of myself. Yeah. The smoothness is definitely And mine. Okay. All right. All right. So say your name, where you're from, and tell us a few things about the project. Hi, my name is Dylan. I'm from California. Hi, my name is Kara. I'm from Toronto. And our project is called Deep Dive. It's a virtual escape room of sorts where you, where the controls are um, hidden in buttons under the, underneath the mats, and you navigate around the mat to find your way out. Okay. So should I try it? Should try do it. I need to wear safety goggles? You need to operate them. You do not need to wear them. This is your controller. We oh, would ask you to take off your. Oh sure. Oh my God, I'm already stepping on it. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. It just it helps if you're not wearing. I, I've only I haven't broken one a project. I usually break at least one. All right, so this is your controller. Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, here, do you want to actually hold this? Sure. If you, can, if you need to say anything, you can. Just note that it's also attached to me. Okay. Okay. I will have a light touch. I'm gonna be glad. Okay. 
Look for a light. Okay, I'm looking for a light. I made it. Thank you so much. 
the basket. Sorry? Was anybody like really fast figured it all out? Kids. Kids. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they don't have as many hang ups, but like, oh my god. I'm going to mess this up, I'm terrible. They're also yeah. willing to jump on jump, those, jump which on is them. like actually one of yeah. the best ways yeah. to, to yeah. get into your house. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the <laughs> Okay, oh, I can put my shoes back on. Then I'm glad you're wearing such nice socks. Yes, oh yes, these are my quick draw socks. String and, string and loop .com. This is not a, not a sponsor, but I'm promoting them anyway. <laughs> okay, Whew. I'm exhausted already. All right, let's come over here. We can look at this project. Can you guys come together and, yes. and tell us tell us your names, plural, and yes. about your project? Uh, I'm Matervo. Hi, I'm Arna. Brilliant. All right, so what did you make? Yes, uh, we made this thing, which is the mystery machine. Uh, it's a set of six to seven puzzles, depending on how you play it. And there's a backstory to it about cat videos. So there's an evil guy, Orion, who's created this virus to destroy all cat videos on the internet. And we have a friend, Mr. Grotsky, who wrote the antivirus to that to save all the cat videos inside this machine. So we want to plug the machine in, solve all of the puzzles, and make sure we have cat videos for the eternity. Well, this is a very important work that you're yes, all doing. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the best way? Does one of you want to like press around, or should I be trying it, or what's uh, what my suggestion? Yeah, I can help you. Okay, uh, I can help you with the first one. Okay. And then you can probably uh, play around. Okay. Uh, okay. So because it says no connection found. Okay. Uh, and there's an Ethernet cable running around, so you can probably plug in the Ethernet cable. There you go. It says connections are repaired. Uh, yeah, keep playing around as much as you want. Ooh, well, there you go. It's got that fast. Yeah. <laughs> Square waves. That's nice. Let's turn everything on. <laughs> we better turn this. This switch looks like it really needs to go on. Oh boy. What did you not touch? There you go. Something happened. Oh wait. Oh wait. 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 We've got to align these here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh boy, this is very satisfying. Uh oh, I'm not actually. It's not very forgiving. It really You're almost there. Exactly. You're almost there. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, the, you're on to the next puzzle. This really reminds me, I don't know, the television show Lost. You guys are familiar yes, with it. Yes. The sort of aesthetic <laughs> of uh, like the weird underground, strange things. Okay. Um, wh oh, wait, what do I do now? What buttons have you to try? What buttons have you pressed? I did this one already. That's on. It comes, but not now. Yeah, that's Oh, I'm not supposed to leave it on? Yeah, it's not. I could call my. Uh, Something else on the phone? <laughs> oh, but these I. Oh, look at this. Okay, but there must be some pattern to this that I'm supposed to get. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's not it? Uh, you're almost there. <laughs> yeah, this one was arbitrarily hard. We wanted to make one which was just like impossible to solve because that some of these boxes, that's what they do. I can give you a hint. In yeah. fact, even I don't know the answer to this. One. Only I know the answer to this. <laughs> you said it, I think you, you threw me off by saying I was almost there. Uh, okay, let, let me give you a hint. Uh, two of them go up and three of them go down. Okay. Well, so. Right. <laughs> I'm going to try every possible. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. See, I was actually, what I was trying to do there was I was just imagining there was actually some logic to... Uh, the there is a logic, okay. so the thing is, there the is. logic repeats three times. Ah, so okay. everything's okay, I got it, but it doesn't answer to them, unless they want got them it. to get got the same it. one. There's more? Uh, there's okay. two more. There's yes. two more. Okay. <laughs> actually, you have four. Oh. You need to have You need to have Here, you can hold yeah. this. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, my shot. Ooh, you got it? That looks very familiar yeah. to me. That's Berlin noise. Yes, uh, <laughs> I'm just guess. Hey, do I get extra points for knowing that was Berlin noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this now. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Cat videos. We have cat are safe. videos. That's great. This is 
Yeah. Remarkably fun. <laughs> What's, is this just a, uh, I mean, I, I feel ridiculous asking this, but I assume this is just a... It's just a, a it's a beat yeah, by sketch running on yeah. the iPad. You did a nice job of, with the sort of color and design of the topography to make it really feel like it's not. Yeah, it works well. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Oh, hi. Ashley, can I interview you about your project? Sure. Okay. Sure. Uh, say your name, where you're from, and then tell us a few sentences about what you made, and then we'll, we'll come in closer with okay. the camera. Okay, I'm Ashley Lewis. Uh, I made Lost and Found Bots. Um, <laughs> and so they're these little robots that feel lost without one another, and when you connect their hands, they feel found. And so it's just an experiment around how to add personification to electronic components and like if a robot if a, if connectors were things that humans had like what how would we use them to feel emotions yeah. cool i love i just love the name lost and found Bots. thanks thanks <laughs> <laughs> okay um, oh they're yeah. beautiful too thanks wow. yeah so these are them so you can see their little faces say lost and then when you connect their hands you have to bring them really close like they're hugging and then they'll feel found that's it. But it's a prototype for a bigger project. I want a little robot society uh -huh. where there are like 10 and you can connect their hands in duos or trios to find out what their what their like rules of their society are and how they operate socially. It's interesting because there's a temptation to really like make these answer make these very anthropomorphic. Yeah. But they feel they, they have personality to them, but they're not like, oh look, there's the eyes, there's the nose. So I think that works really well. But but I love this idea of like the like the sort of hand holding. Is there a reason one thing I'm curious about, is there a reason why you picked the red color as the LED? Because that feels kind of like alarm, alarm, I'm as too. opposed to like here we are together. Yeah, I felt like it was like heart, like yeah. ah, love, okay. like affection yeah. kinds yeah. of things. Um, but uh, but yeah, I feel like it's, it's like um, maybe a, through the human lens, a, like right. big red LED is an alarm, but maybe through a robot, robot. it's yes. like affect, yeah, affection. Totally. You know? There is a whole robot language that I'm not familiar with. Yeah, about, so. yeah, I'm only learning to speak <laughs> it, so. Awesome, beautiful, yeah. great job. Thanks. And what's, um, what's, like, what's, like have kids come up to this and wanted to play with it? Or like yeah, what's the... Yeah, um, yeah, it's been really well received from kids. I think like I've learned a lot about um, the different kinds of uh, stories that people build yeah. around it and that, that was most exciting when I was talking to kids like what narratives are um, in the world of these little robots. So, yeah. Cool, great job. Thanks, thanks. Great, okay. All right, we're moving along here. This is another project, yes? Yeah, right. can you tell us your name and a few sentences about it? Sure, hey, uh, I'm Caleb. Uh, this project is called Mood Ring. It's just a mirror that's also a mood ring. So the so a mood ring, the way I understand it, is a thing that you put on and it changes colors based on your mood. Right. So that's what's happening with this mirror. Right. <laughs> so if you walk up to it and stand like about here, uh, it'll track your face and uh, try and figure out your emotion based on it. So it thinks you're sad. Now it thinks you're mad. <laughs> now it thinks you're surprised. Now it thinks you're mad again. <laughs> we should show a little behind the scenes here. Do you go up and, uh, right before we see the, uh, the camera? camera? I thought this would be an exciting moment. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm sorry it's shaky. I'm getting tired. Get your face in <laughs> Oh. Uh, Everybody in the chat should be very, very nice and kind to Jenny here, who's been carrying this camera for, so far, 45 minutes, and <laughs> we may need to take a break, so we're going we're gonna to keep going. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Philip. <laughs> okay, Tushar, can you tell us your name, where you're from, and a little bit about your project? Okay, uh, my name is Tushar, I'm from India, and this is a voice synthesizer, which makes music from your voice. And it's not normal synth that you can play music on. You sort of collaborate with the synth and you say, okay, making some music using these three or four notes, and the synth gives you what it feels like to them. So, you want to try it? Yeah. Can okay. you, can it, we'll come out of the speaker? Yes. Okay, great. So, actually, what, maybe you should perform it for us. Awesome. So, I record my voice. And then.
So were all the sounds you know, coming from the first recording you did of your voice? Yes. So there's uh, an element of my voice in there. There's also a synth. It's called the low synth, voice and synth put together. And of course the drums is drums. So that's not from my voice. So, but people coming to the show record their own voice and then they're hearing yeah. it. And are you collecting those or? Um, yes, I'm collecting them. So that's the feedback I got yesterday. Yes. And I was like, okay. Yes. That's, that's a great you're gonna make an orchestra of yeah. all the people. That I see you want to be clear and transparent about yes. that you're collecting people's voices. Yes. Yes. But it would be beautiful to I think make an orchestra of all the people visiting the show. Definitely. Awesome. Great. All right. Uh, let's. I'll collect my voice. How do okay. I do that? Let me. <laughs> Just press record. Uh, so start humming a note into the mic, and while you're singing. Now, if I want to hear, if I want to hear my voice back, so you only hear it once. Ah, it plays it back once, and then you start. It's playing one layer, and now you can select notes. Got it. And it's making a melody out of that. And you can decide how complex you want the melody to be. It can be simpler, or it can be more complex. It's simpler. So nicely made. It's like, it looks like I got when I first saw that I was like, oh, you bought a thing to like work with your project. Then I realized like, oh no, you made that. Yeah, thing. yeah. It's yeah, really yeah. great. Great cool. job. Thank Congrats. you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. It's gonna be 2019. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you want to tell us about your project sure, real quick? I'd be happy to tell you about the project. Okay. Okay. Um, so say your name uh, first. Yes. Yeah. So hi, my name is Ellen, and I made this project with Beverly Alden and Ridwan, and we made a website that anybody can control. So if you go to visualmode.space, you will have access to the controller, and there are two different modes. You can send your own GIF, or you can change to an abstract shapes visual mode. So the part of the fun of this is that you can try to control it, but anybody can control it. So can you, are you really in control? So we, what we can do is um, send a word and change it live if you like. I have a feeling people are already doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, You're yeah. not doing that, are you? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So um, would, would you like to send a word? Uh, that again? Rainbow. Rainbow. Okay, that's good. I'm so, you know, so obvious. There's two on the nose. Let's see, is it? Send it. Oh. I think we're. I think the. I think there, this is. There the, we got a rainbow right, real quick. But this is like the perfect project for us to actually demonstrate because I know, it's not like hundreds of thousands of people watching, but yes. there's got to be a yes. hundred or so. There's a lot of stuff going on. That's cool. A rainbow. Yeah, really there you quick. go. And I like that this is a project that it's hard to probably like troll in the sense that you're just looking at to like search stuff on. Giphy. Right. So there's a little sort of layer of protection. I'm always worried about these kind of things with live streaming. Oh, hey, you can put your text here. How do you make something fun and interactive and, uh, yeah. and enjoyable, but but also and flexible, but also have those kind of like layers of protection? And I'm still monitoring just in yes, case yes, good, something good job. happens during the, the show. It is a family program, yes, the yes. ITP Winter yes. Show. Yes. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to get a lot of people controlling it all night long. <laughs> awesome. Great. Thank you all so right. much. Hope, hope we've made your project even more special than our You have. You have. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's come over. Let's try to make a... How are you doing there, Jenny? Good, good. You're okay? You sure? Because we yeah. can stop, take a break. Yeah? yeah? Maybe okay. at an hour. At an hour, we'll stop and take a break. Because I could. we could also switch for a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you might not want to be on camera. I don't really want to be on camera, <laughs> okay. but thanks. Um, can we ask you about your project? Uh, All right, we'll come back. Okay. Well, I see it on your face. <laughs> okay. And H, are you? Uh, we'll, we'll come back. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go over here. Can we? we have, I'm, I'm here. Can you tell us about your project that you made with Julia, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So tell us your name, Julia's name, and a, a few cents about this project, and then we'll play around with it. Sounds good. Uh, my name is Stefan. Uh, my partner is Julia Rich. Uh, unfortunately, they are not here right now, but I can do my best to explain uh, on my own. It's a, an interactive uh, alien garden, so the idea is that it's sort of a, a discovery experience. So users will come and, and touch things, it's very tactile, and, uh, and uh, just 
discover different interactions uh, and different sort of playful elements. Yeah, and I can say my kids were here at the show yesterday, and this was one of the highlights for them. Just the, the, I mean, I just to be able to, I mean, I already know what happens, so, but maybe we can show a little sure. bit. Sure. Okay. I don't know what the best. You can cross it. Okay. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna open up this. So there's a little, there is a little, uh, a fluff who lives uh, in our garden, and he sometimes makes an appearance under the rock here. Uh, when you lift it up. By the way, it took a while for the kids to figure out that that rock. It's not like, which is no, that's the good, that's the fun yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's not really meant for me to just come over here and do it. But um, the fluff so, also comes over here, right? Yeah. The, so the fluff actually, uh, we like to say he lives in this cave over here, but he's a little more shy when he uh, with visitors in his cave, so he doesn't always like uh, people to to reach their hands in there. So he'll he'll hide away. We'll see if fluff comes out. But yeah. also, I can. There's something here I can do. Oops. Oh, no, no. I wiped the microphone. Oh, okay, great. It requires a delicate touch. There you go. And as you can see, it lights up all these different mushrooms. We like to think that they're all sort of connected by an underground like root system, so they all lead to this flower here. Maybe there's something over here. <laughs> well, who knows? Just like the wind blowing through the grass. And you're both you're showing this somewhere else, uh, yes? Yes, uh, Julie and I are actually uh, going to be showing it at the uh, Children's Museum here in Manhattan. Um, we're pretty excited to to have uh, some younger kids manhandle it. It's yeah. sort of the, yeah. the ultimate play test, right. I think. Yeah, and it's amazing. I mean, there were tons of people all playing with the gesture range. It looks like it's still working just fine. So Knock on wood, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. All right, we've come for the real deal, Emily. The real deal. <laughs> <laughs> you, you come up here, we'll first just okay. say, because there's some light here. Oh, great. See, tell us your name, where you're from, and a couple sentences about your project, and then we'll see it in okay. action. Okay, great. Um, hi, I'm Emily. Um, I'm from Los Angeles, and uh, this is an interactive about how we can power our days using solar cells, and um, it tries to also detail some of the complexity of that process. So, um, I guess I'll try it in action if that's sure, okay. Sure, yeah. Okay. So, um, so, this is the info page, but we can power a day, and there are four different modules that people can experience. And one of the complexities is the voltage generated, um, it's the voltage that can be generated from the solar panels. And you can see the relation of um, between the position of the house and the angle of the light and how that makes a difference um, with how much power can be generated from the solar panels. And another perspective that I've included here is a cross section of the solar cell. Um, so, in a bit, you will see the how the science of how solar cells work. So um, the photons hit the solar cell, and it generates this charge carrier that moves through the circuit. So thereby creating uh, electricity or power. And you made all these animations. Yes, using P5JS. Amazing. Handy tool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then how are you? Sorry, I didn't interrupt you. How are you then communicating? Uh, to all the physical elements here? Yes, great question. I am using Arduino um, to communicate and also uh, the serial port, P5 serial port, to communicate with the button. So every time a button is pressed, it sends um, a message to Arduino, oh, this button is pressed, go to this page now. Yeah. And, <laughs> and there's also a night mode because it talks about the excess energy. So when you go to night mode, it says, oh, you can use that excess energy that's stored during the day to light up your house. And it's the, I mean, this is obviously amazing as a demonstration tool, but is it actually also these solar panels are actually active? Or yes, no? yes, they, they are. are. Oh, yes, wow. these are the sensors in there. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, they're doing an analog read to get a reading to do yeah. these live time oh, like, animations. Wow. So it is really acting like a sensor. That's amazing. This is, I feel like this should be required viewing for every, like, for, like, oh. science museums about energy and everything. It's really wonderful. Thank Great you job. so much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, awesome. Oh, oh my gosh, I want to feed you that. Okay. <laughs> you were great. You were great. You don't need to. It was perfect. <laughs> um, do you want to tell us, like, I know this will be hard to demonstrate because it requires the phone yes. and that sort of direction, but do you want to just 
say your yes. name and a, a couple sentences about your project? Yes, of course. Uh, my name is Veronica Alfaro from Costa Rica. Um, uh, my project is called 36 out of 100. It's a physical data visualization of 36% of women who have experienced physical and or sexual violence at some point in their lives. So I am using my voice to tell their stories and giving them a voice. Um, and I build this interactive piece so that uh, every time that the user uh, pick up the phone and plug the jack, then um, a story of one of those 36 women uh, so it's like a physical data visualization, of like 100 uh, circles that representing 100 women, and 36 of them have a story, sad story to share. And is that is that based on a specific statistic, or yes, is the yeah? It's OECD uh, okay. data collected in 2014. Yeah. Yes, it's 36. It, it's in the U.S. Uh, it changed so in yeah. different countries, but I'm, I'm representing the data in the U.S. It's a very powerful way of representing it because it's straight, straight, and it's immediately it immediately has that impact on me to see the sort of like amount of yes. places there yeah. based on the total. Great, yeah. great job. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here, why don't I at least get a little footage I will listen to. Have oh, we can hear. You've got it coming out of the speakers too. Okay. No, that's like the... Yeah. Oh, okay, that's just the explanation. And then you pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and connect the audio jack so that I can tell you. This requires a lot of hands. six out of 100 women represented on the circles in this board have experienced physical and or sexual violence from an intimate partner at some point in their lives. Pick up the phone and connect the audio jack so that I can tell you the story of one of them. 36 out of 100 women represented with the circles in this board have experienced physical and or sexual violence from an intimate partner at some point in their lives. Pick up the phone and connect the audio jack so that I can tell you the story of one of them. 36 out of 100 women represented with the circles in this board have experienced physical and or sexual violence from an intimate partner at some point in their lives. Pick up the phone and connect the audio jack so that I can tell you the story of one of them. 36 out of 100 women represented with the circles in this board have experienced really nice physical interaction. This is very different than what, you know, putting on headphones, for example, to really, to use the, the the, the sexual device, it has a more intimate quality yes. in that sense, like you're on the phone or something. Yeah. Is there a reason yeah. why you chose to use your voice as opposed to ask um, some of the women who's, who's the, their stories to speak? Yeah, I wanted to, well, most of the stories are anonymously told. Yes, right. Uh, so my prompt is there are many untold stories right. and I want to give them a voice and uh, give, them, give, them, give women a way to communicate their stories without having to tell their names and yeah. show their faces, which is... Uh, even collecting the stories was a really difficult process because uh, it's really difficult to share these kind of stories. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the reason why I'm using my voice to communicate their stories. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Are we going to be able to try this? Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> it, it'll be a little weird with the camera. Though. Okay. Well, first, so why don't you first uh, tell us your name and a few sentences about your project. My name is Gilad Dor. Um, my project is a big box. The box takes the things from the outside and the things that are going around it, and abstracts them to give a different perspective about what goes on around you. And you want to get inside? Okay, sure. So you can sit in any direction. So what is happening is that there are two cameras mounted on the outside, and the cameras are brought in and displayed along the uh, LEDs that are placed on the walls here, and they get abstracted through uh, Touch Designer and get uh, displayed here through Mount Mount. It's great. It's sort of a nice break from the, the show. You know, you're kind of I'm going to actually let the door close on you if you have okay. anything you want to okay. kind of just okay. talk about how you're feeling. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> Very immersive. It really, it really is immersive. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, let's take a look at this, and then we'll, maybe we'll have a break.
kind of nice, I think, just even for just us. Well, both cameras are on the other side now. Uh, no. Yeah. So right now, on this side, on this side, it's actually performing as a window where you can see what's, what's behind, it. What's behind it. And on yeah. the other side, it's performing as a mirror. Mirror. Uh, okay. So let's out. start over and just uh, say uh, your name and yes. get, tell, uh, tell the name of your project and we'll a couple of questions. Hi, my name is Elvin and this is a project that I did and the name of it is called Space Machine Us. It's a lighting installation and it's composed of two separate screens on each side. And as what I was saying, um, both sides there have uh, one side is a window and the other side is a mirror. So I could stand on the other side and you could actually stay there. Take a break for a little bit. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. Well, whatever. Do I, I don't think I need a. Am I shaky? No, you're fine. You're you're doing That's great. The audience. I just. Uh, That's the uh, audience. <laughs> yeah, thanks for trying. Yeah, thanks for trying. Hey, can you tell us about your project? Uh, yeah. The, this is a collaboration. Yeah. So yes. tell us your name, where you're from, and a few sentences about it. I'm Jenny. I'm from Taiwan. Yeah, my background is UI UX designer. Uh, Morgan, I'm from Reno, Nevada, and my background is electrical engineering. Uh, and this is called Reverie Fields. It's kind of a self-reflection experience where the user prompted to think about a memory and then the emotions associated with that memory. And then through the use of the hand, they'll kind of transcend those emotions and the memory into the light and manipulate the fields accordingly. Where'd you, where'd you get the idea to do this? Um, so we both wanted to tap into the emotions and, and uh, memory, and then we kind of want to try to express it through light. And we make sure that we don't use LED lights because we think it comes to like it's the feel. Yeah. It's like the hue of these lights feels really yeah. nice and kind of emotes like the more memory. Great, so can I try it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to hold you can, Yeah, you can hold it. Talking to it too, if you're in there. So. People won't be able to hear. Yeah. Oh, it'll prompt. Very intense. <laughs> In a good way. 
Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I almost want to wish it, in some ways, like I guess I'm not looking behind me, but it's somewhat immersive. It almost, like, in it would, you could imagine, um, like, building this, so that you're just surrounded by it. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, it's, it works in a sense of this show. But you can also imagine it being like a completely dark, quiet yeah. room. Exactly. Yeah, that would be like, like yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Do you mind sharing what kind of memory you thought of? Um, I was thinking about my daughter when she was born. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's like too cliche, but that's like always what oh, jumped really in my mind. Um, but, which was, but I have to admit, like, so I was really like in the moment and thinking about the memory and really focused on that. And then all of a sudden, once I'm doing the fingers, I'm just like excited by the interaction. Yeah, that's fair. And I'm like, so I think that's, but it's, you know, in a way, like it's, it's interesting that balance between having this stuff happen for you and more like, like I thought, oh, it's going to like, it's my heartbeat and, yeah. and it's going to like do something, but that, is there, what, how, what, what sort of automated what you ask me to do? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Great job. Yeah. Thank you so much for trying. Sure. Yeah. Um, you should, do you have the soundtrack? Like you send that to me because what we'll do yeah. is so that we can overlay it over sure. the video yeah. later. We yeah, actually maybe. have a female and male voice. Okay. Which one did you? I have the female. Okay. But either one is fine. <laughs> the female Great. one is my. <laughs> we try the bird. We missed the bird. Okay. Take a seat. Okay. Here. Um, say your name <laughs> and and uh, tell us about your project. Uh, my name is Tanik and this is my partner YG. I'm YG and. Uh, this is the Invisible Bird project. Uh, so we use like sentimental analysis to analyze a lot of tweets on Twitter and we decide is it positive or negative and then we bring the data back to the game and user can guess what public opinion about one topic and guess what majority think about this topic is it negative or positive and the bird will interact to you and tell you the result. You can try it. So to like start it, you say where's my bird? Where's my bird? Maybe you have to say it louder. <laughs> where's my bird? <laughs> so these data come from Twitter and you can read the negative and positive before you decide which it's like majority topic about Taylor Swift. And then you have your almond, you can feed almond inside the cage, and then the bird will tell you the result. <laughs> so if you write, the bird will eat almond that you feed. But if you're wrong, the bird will shit and fly away. <laughs> you can try it again. <laughs> oh, hey, where's my bird? Do you think Twitter's attitude about Trump is positive or negative? If it is positive, should we have to make a green box? If it is negative, do you think it's equal to that? Where's my bird? We need to reset it. It's okay, I'm happy to be right both times. Okay. <laughs> Great job. Okay, all right. So I think we've got to start to be a little more curatorial here and move a little more quickly. We've, I think we've seen maybe... Uh, uh, what, one, one tenth of the show? <laughs> no. Um, let's go towards, all right, we'll come back, we'll, we'll, we'll come back here, we'll head back to this one. Okay, okay. Hi, everyone. All right, tell us your name and a sentence about your project. All right, yeah, and, yeah. my okay. name is Mohammed. I'm, I'm from Iran. Yes. Hi, guys. And, uh, yeah, so my project uh, this year is uh, Natural Clock. And by that, I mean, this, this project shows you the time of the day. Uh, not like some arbitrary, arbitrary number. By that I mean, this hand uh, shows the position of the sun in the sky. And this part is the daylight, and this part is the nighttime, your sunset, your sunrise. This will be like high noon and midnight. So the idea is like to show you the time of the day. Right? That means uh, how much daylight you have, like, uh, like the actual, because this takes a full day to do a full circle. Right? So uh, yeah, it's a more natural way to look at the time. 
because like 24 hour hour is like an arbitrary segment yeah, yeah, done yeah. in like yeah. any length. Yeah. Beautiful. The design. What is the, the? Is this pattern that's on there a particular design? Um. Yeah. The design is actually inspired by a 17th century Persian uh, astrolabe made for the king back then, Shahabas II. And I actually removed his name from here. But yeah, this uh, it's based off uh, off of that to like point out the heritage and like generally point out like the uh, astronomical aspect of this project. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay. Do you want to just give us a quick uh, tell? These are hard sure. to do with the sound. Because, I know. I think so, sound but just, it's okay. Just tell us your name and a couple sentences about hey, your Hey, I'm Gabriela Garcia. This is the Intergalactic Messaging Center. And I took a retro futurist phone and totally pieced it back together. So it's all original elements. And I collected a bunch of voicemails from other ITP students via a burner number. Um, and about what they would see in the future. And most of them, actually everybody was really optimistic about the future, which was like hyper surprising because I wanted to create more of a narrative phone tree uh, with apocalyptic visions and whatnot. So I ended up creating the branching narrative using more fictional um, sounds and samples from sci-fi movies like 2001 A Space Odyssey and Doctor Strangelove. But it's a fully functional IVR. I coded it through P5. And um, it also has a physical ringer. Um, everything is like Arduino um, through here. The keypad matrix yeah. triggers through P5. And Amazing! I love all the all the phones this year. There's yeah. so many like old retro phones. It's awesome. I think we were all missing something. <laughs> yes, you know? I like, think so. We're really missing something um, physical in our lives. Let's move back this way. So my my strategy now is to try to like speed through a few different areas and then eventually we'll make our way downstairs and that's where we will finish up. Where are we at? 415? <laughs> Doing okay there? Check it out. What do we want to see here? I guess we could just get some footage of this room in general. And maybe we can. Yeah, can you uh, tell us your name and where you're from and a few sentences about this project? Hey, uh, my name is Hike. This project is called the Invisible Orchestra. We made it with my colleague, Grant. So this is actually a touchless musical instrument, which is designed for performing artists to incorporate this with their uh, performances. So it basically creates music which are body movement and gestures, uh, which allows... Grant, can you... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I need to tell my family that I'm on. Maybe it's... Uh, wait. Yeah, they've been waiting for this. Oh, so, seriously? Yeah, oh, my God. Uh, I can't get this. this okay. Okay. I feel very stressed out uh, now. What if I hadn't made it back here? Okay. Uh, tell us your name and where you're from. Hi, and... I'm Brent. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia. Shout out uh, to Ben and Sarah and Stella and Elise. <laughs> um, this is the Invisible Orchestra. It is a series of instruments that can be played using hand motions. Um, should I just... Yeah, go for it. Go okay. for it. Oh yeah, yeah, constantly actually, <laughs> every day for the past week. Uh, yeah, it's really you. nice. Really it's really good. Nice. Great job. Thanks for coming by. Okay. All right. Tricky, but here, tell us your name and a couple sentences about your project. I'm Casey Kinchina. My project is called Constant Delineation. Uh, I did with my partner Mark Lamb, and it's essentially a community line drawing. And so you go inside this tent, you connect two points, and then it gets added into this big drawing that gets projected on the outside of the tent. So okay. do you want to try it or should I? Try I'll it? try it. I'll try All it. Right. Describe how you feel. I, I think you might need to hold this open. Yeah. So, okay. This is my rainbow. Or 
sine wave. How about I do like the Fourier series? Square wave. Wow. Getting mapped with it. Yeah. That's the way to do like a smiley. Oh, I can't stop. Metal. Smiley face. There we go. It's very satisfying to, to draw. Now we can now we'll find it on the outside. Yeah, so it's on the outside now. I'll put it inside it. project back here. We're going to move along. Awesome. So tell us your name and a couple sentences about um, your project. My name is Jackie Liu um, and my project is called The Body Pillow. Um, so what The Body Pillow is, is it's a speculative project um, that tries to answer um, if we can replicate the feeling um, of human skin and human touch, can it bring the same benefits emotionally and physically? Sorry, I got distracted by Rob. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> this was also one of my daughter's favorite projects. She was oh, sitting wow. in the yeah, chair no, yesterday I've just hugging the pillow. I have a really good picture yeah, of her yeah. doing that yesterday. Also. Um, yeah. Great job. Thank you. And I created a prototype. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to, let's just come. I, this was fun, too. Let's see. I'm just trying to like, move through these projects quickly. All right, tell us your name and a couple sentences. Uh, your name. I'm Sachiko Nakajima from Japan. I'm a first year IDP student. And this is uh, my ICM project. I have extra two installations here, but this is my ideal project. Uh, so you can make uh, paintings by a song. So like. Uh, Do that. Uh, you, you just hold, hold this, okay. and here I'm now carrying this thing. So we can go. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is it. This is what we can do. So we can move now. Um, I'm walking through the hallway. I kind of forgot that I was in live stream. This is 247 people watching right now. So I think we should move down this hallway to the room in the front, and then. Um, that I had yeah, to kind of catch some of these projects a little bit. <laughs> you can see that. We're kind of getting some. I know, right? But I, it, it's sad, but I just cannot, we cannot catch all the projects. So I'm just going to go buy some of these. Uh, see what they say. Let me see. Um, yeah. Okay. Crowded here. All right, so let's. Oh, the dark one. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hello. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Say hello to the live stream. Hi. I love you. You It's going live right now. I should have stickers with me. Okay. Let me think here. There were. Oh, this project is wonderful. Let's, let's take a look at this. All right. I'm gonna be a little. We'll just catch catch them here and there. Okay, everybody, we're back. I mean, we were here the whole time, but I took a mental break there for a second. Um, okay. Can we can we get some uh, can we get some information on your project? So tell us your name, where you're from, and uh, a few sentences about this project. Uh, hi, I'm Jasper from China, and uh, our project is called Farming Hobbies. We are trying to show the relationship between people and smartphones. And you can interact them by putting your phone here, 
to want to play. Uh, I, I would, but my phone is right here right now. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> my phone is being used to live stream. So, so. once you put your phone here, they will all be attracted by our smartphone. And they keep moving their heads up and down. We are doing a metric for to show the relationship between uh, people and smartphone. You see puppy moving their heads up and down just like we constantly checking the message from our smartphone. And uh, once you remove the phone, they will back to normal life. Just like this. I don't know if people can hear the sound, but the chattering, the little like chattering sounds, and, and it's like all, all the music suddenly changes and everybody bows down to the car. It's like really, really effective. Like in communicating the idea. Plus it's just so beautifully made. Like there's so much personality in these characters. It's really great. Right. We won't give the personality to the puppies. Yeah. 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 Project. We can just watch these. I don't know if the creator of this project is here. I don't know if the screen will read. Maybe we can like a great sort of hazard pay or something. Is this your project? Yeah. Yes, okay, so tell us, your name. tell us a couple cents about it. My name is Sherry My kids Yang. love this one. Anyway. I don't think you were here when they were doing it. My name is Sherry Yang. Um, this is my project called Two Men is Happy. Um, so basically it's a, a two men same gift books where you're supposed to um, follow the movements of the two men and transfer yourself into a happy two men and get a gift, center yourself, share it with your friends. Yeah, I um, started the idea because I want to make everyone feel happy and I just love, I'm obsessed with like the two men. So I created a figure and then I want to transfer everyone to that and share the happiness. Yeah, that's what's good. Can I try it? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Do you guys want to send it to yourself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you guys. Right, we have to, we have to, we're going to wait for this thing. We're going to watch this. This is good actually. That's what we're going to do. And if it's not your... We had some like reindeer... Like things here yesterday, my daughter was wearing them. Uh, yeah. She was, she was oh. very obsessed with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very <laughs> <laughs> I like this. It's very funny how this is right by the elevator. <laughs> Of a train. Choo -choo. <laughs> okay, I guess I better. Uh... I'm going to be, be getting a lot of emails now. Oh, I'm not showing your email. Okay, so I'm putting in my public mic. Yeah. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. This, yes, this is the one that she was wearing. Okay. 
Um, oh, all right, we got, we got. Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry to just jump in and interrupt. No, no, no. Uh, tell us where you're from in a few sentences about this amazing thing. That Goodness, uh, I'm James. I'm from South Africa originally. Uh, and a few sentences about this. So uh, this is a series of pieces that I did for a class called Fabrication, where you learn how to build stuff. Um, but they all kind of connected together, so I thought I'd put them in the show. Go ahead and spin the, uh, sp sp spin the crank. So what's happening here is, as you're spinning the motor, you are generating the electricity that's being used to power all of these lights. Um, and what I find really interesting, unfortunately this doesn't translate into video that well, but if I disconnect the circuit, feel it becomes a lot easier to spin. Does it? Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. Dan, Dan agrees. Um, that is the, that's the electrical, that light that you feel is the electrical resistance, the energy that's being used to turn on these lights. So that difference is in, in resistance is the work that's being put into turning on the lights. Can you get, the compass switch, because this is the voltage readout? Oh yes, yes, that's the voltage of the... Um, Maybe get that and then let's uh, just unplug it again. We'll get that again. So we'll add, get the back together later. Oh, wonderful. Okay, okay. So I'm get, uh, as I unplug the system, it becomes a lot easier to spin. And that difference in resistance uh, is the energy that's being used to, uh, to turn on the light. Cool. Great job. Thank you. It's been an exercise today. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go head to the undergraduate area. And we will go downstairs and be on our way to being done. You doing okay? I can. I should carry when we carry it in when we go downstairs. Give you another break. No <laughs> okay. We're entering the interactive media arts room. It's very exciting. We are moving from ITP to IMA. These are undergraduate students in their natural habitat. We'll come back. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's uh, let's let's get, let's take a look at this. Can you tell us what you're experiencing here? Do you mind being live on camera for a second? <laughs> Kelly, I can't even hear me. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm good. What, what are you hearing in there? I'm hearing each of these donuts tell me a story when I pick it up. Yeah? Yeah. And it's triggered by the light. So when you uncover the donut, then you get the, then you get the story. When you want to hear a different donut story, you pick a different donut. Or pizza or shallow bows, uh, dumplings of some sort. Can you, can you guys come over here and introduce yourselves and tell us about your project? So tell um, me your names, where you're from, and a little bit about what you mean. Okay, uh, I'm Sama Srinivas, I'm from California. I'm James, I'm from Ghana, but I live in the Bronx. So our project is basically um, a lighthearted take on um, the inevitable truth that people, that, that we will lose people in our lives. And so we have three characters, Roger, Rachel, and Ronnie. Um, Roger is an old man who's a retired veteran who's Friends are all dying and his wife has died as well. And then Rachel, all her ex-boyfriends boyfriends left her for some reason or cheated on her. And Ronnie's friends are all moving away. And um, basically, this is sort of just like a playful take on our silver lining where we all are companions in our grief. It's a very um, implicit um, theme that you can't really see at face value, but it's also just a really funny um, way to portray anthropomorphic food. Where did you get the idea for this? Um, I originally started because I heard Dunkin' Donuts was changing the name to just Dunkin'. So I was like, I need, a dun I, need, I need a donut that can portray this very well. So I created Roger, and then like, we built, that's how the project started. And we're like, you know what, we should explore this thing a bit more. And then we spread it out to like few different characters. I tried it yesterday and the dumplings are my favorite. Oh, thank you. <laughs> let's, try, let's try to get some closer uh, footage of it. Uh, the other thing I like about this project is the nice Purell that's here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's, let's come over here. And 
Can we, can we check out the animation? Okay, oh, and the solar system story of these. We're going to try to speed through these projects. So. Okay. Uh, tell me your name and a couple sentences about what you make. Okay, my name is Faith, and my project allows you to grow a virtual plant mainly because I can't keep plants alive, so I have a virtual one. Uh, so we start off by twisting the potentiometer to decide which plant you're planting. Okay. And burn? Okay. Yeah. Um, so next, cat the force sensor. Uh, pretty hard. And it'll cat the soil down. You have to go a bit harder than that. There we go. And then finally, you need to water your plants. So if you take water from here, pour it into. Oh, this is where I break the project. Right? <laughs> there we go. And finally, um, you need your cell phone flashlight, which I will do for you. Thank you. Um, so if you shine it, it makes the clouds disappear, and your plant grows bigger, and you're done. So it's low risk, low responsibility. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. It's super fun. All right, let's check out the solar system. Can you uh, tell us your names and where you're from and a couple sentences about what you made? Uh, I'm Sarah. I'm from Boston or Brookline. People, yeah, but <laughs> I'm a Porva. I'm from Chicago. Uh, so <laughs> my project is an interactive solar system. And what you would do is you would first you have your little rocket ship. And you can select any plant that you want to look at. And then you pick up this little controller and then move it around and that will kind can we of try one? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah. And then that will control the rotation of the planet. It's working so well. Yeah. In the New Year. And then you can go back by clicking onto space and then you could just go anywhere. Can also, you also look at the sun? Is yeah, the sun's fair game. <laughs> so planets plus big star. It's interesting, so the scale is so different. Like they're always the same size once you click into it, but yeah. you're seeing them at their scale. Yeah, cool. Awesome. It's really, it's a really fun interaction. Great job. Okay. Okay. Um, let's maybe. Oh, let's try. We'll come over here. Yes. Okay. Tell us your name and a couple sentences about your project. Uh, this is a project by, by Cass and I. Uh, Cass is Yaohou Yao Ho Zhong and uh, he's not here, not here right now. Uh, ah, okay. This project <laughs> is, is called the Space World. So we are creating a space, uh, we're creating an experience in the space. Uh, it's like you are floating and when you uh, put, up your, put up your arms, you begin to fall into this space. I'm inspired like uh, in Martin Square Park one, one day when I saw a pool of water and, the, and the, I saw a wave, the stars are reflecting in this. And yeah, so this is a project. summary of your project? And this is a collaboration, yes? Yes, it so is. So tell us, uh, yeah, okay. Hi, yeah, I'm Helen Hessians. Yeah. Um, 
I'm from all over, but I was here born here in Manhattan. Um, our project is called Censorship, and it's a telephone conversation between two people, uh, and it's through a machine that doesn't believe in global warming. So um, you guys, like, you can sit down and have a conversation with someone, and certain phrases you say, and the machine will let through. So if you say climate change, it, um, the other person will Chinese codes, for example. So yeah. Hey, before you get up, can you be our model for a second? Like I said, I know all that. Did you see the recording about the extreme weather? Yeah, there's like a kind of The actually is really good too. Yeah. And this is your budget too. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these were saying that they were worried about greenhouse gases. Okay, I'm, oh. I'm James from uh, Nanjing, China. Yeah, I did the, like the techie bits. Yeah, she did all the rest. <laughs> I guess so. Congrats, great job. Thank you. Hey. Okay. Okay. We're, we're about, we're going to wrap up in like 20 minutes. We'll try to see a few more things. I would love to head downstairs. Just trying to see. I didn't actually make it into this room yesterday. Or that room. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if you have anything you want to. Let's just walk. What, here, let me carry it for you. Okay. And then we'll just walk through. Okay. So we catch with our, uh, I guess so. This is one thing I didn't think about is that being attached to it. It's just like walking through for this. <laughs> hey, how are you? Nice to see you. These are elbow padding. It's elbow padding and it's removable. So if she spills when she's eating, she can throw these in the washing machine. Yeah, so, and they're Velcro and it's just epoxy glue. <laughs> Can we try this? Sure. Yeah, all right. Just, all right. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, okay, all right. Let's switch this back. Hold on. I'm not seeing funny things on the internet. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. It's okay. This is going to be a hot. First, Jenna, Jenna, just, just come over here and tell us. You're going to play, right? I'm going to play. Okay, okay. But I want you to just say your name in a, like a couple sentences about your project. It's your project, not my project. You, you, can, you can opt out if you want. Hi, I'm Jenna. Um, this is my project in which two people compete to see who is the most New York out of both. Um, so what happens is that the computer gives you a topic and then two people take turns expressing an opinion about the topic and the computer scores your response based on how close it is to the most frequently tweeted things um, by New Yorkers from 2018 about the topic. So you guys wanna give it a shot? Yeah, okay, we're gonna play. All right. All right. I'm Mike, so, so I'm gonna mostly point this at you. Okay. Uh, so, so this is yeah. Player one, player two. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. Go for it. Okay. Let's play. Okay. Pizza. Uh, oh, I'm player one. Uh, <laughs> slice. One player would not in model. Slice. Uh, uh, dollar slice. Okay. All right. Trump. Jerk. <laughs> Huge jerk. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of like a family friendly way of saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, my, I don't know if I recognize that I call it Trump a jerk. <laughs> Subway. L train shut down. Andrew Governor. <laughs> Cynthia Nixon should have won. <laughs> Kanye. Uh, West. <laughs> Fashion. 
you're, you're, exa you're, you're much more creative than I am. <laughs> I've already had to play it once, so. Wait, am I trying to get farther or closer? Closer. Okay. <laughs> Fashion. This is the mic. Oh. This mic's doing nothing. There's too many mics. Fashion. Okay, there we go. Amazon. Prime. Prime delivery next day. <laughs> R.I.P. Long Island City. Already then, not in model. Hashtag seduce me in four words. Uh, coding train choo choo! <laughs> coding train choo choo not in my life. Here's my seamless password. <laughs> Player one wins. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, the lower score wins. Yes, I am still the reigning champion of this game because I did win when we played it in class. Also, this game is rigged. <laughs> I see a sign, a screen that says one minute and thirty, one hour thirty minutes, ten seconds. That's about maybe since it started, I would assume. Uh, I think you can, you can, you can, you can interact with this performance. Get to be able to interact. Go to slash play. And there's already 81 people in the queue. So, Let's just let's try to get some shots of some of these projects quickly. So tell me your name, a uh, sentence or two about your project. Sure, my name's Topher. Uh, I made this little escape room style uh, installation here. Um, basically, uh, it's got a monster here, you just pass the cave. If you want to set it free, you got to squeeze his feet in the correct order. So if you want to uh, do other, you want to get that shot? <laughs> I'd be afraid. All right, you got the first one. So I start over again? Yeah. It has to be this one, right? Oh. There we go. <laughs> this was a much easier escape room than the one in the other. Oh my goodness, there's something going on here. Beautiful. 206. Wait, what's the number mean? What does 263 mean? I don't know. Oh, wait. I have to do more? Oh no, there's a combination here. I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> Eyesight is not good enough. <laughs> Two. Two. I'm very nearsighted, so if I take my glasses off, I can see this quick. Two, six, three. All right. I watched a YouTube video about how to like pick me. I had one that I forgot the combination of, and I was able to pick it. Oh, yeah, no, that's good. That's <laughs> actually, and, and it's, um, oh, yeah, the, no, just a little. 
I'm on one hand. Sure. And then, so, well, you've earned it, so. Oh! Oh my goodness. You know who's really earned this? Would you like one of these? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I earned the chocolate. I, I'm going to even give Jenny mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear. solve the puzzle. I know, but you're, you're only this big for like hours. All right, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. How, how do I get this to happen? <laughs> you know this one is staying much longer than Oh, the, the like, longer you draw, the longer it stays. Oh. Do you want one? So what about the so and it's acute? Uh, those might those might just be a bug. Oh, I did try them. Yeah, no, I think I, I think there might be a little bug in like. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can you just tell us a couple things about your project? Yeah, my name's Oren. Um, my project is a um, drawing tool that's also an audio sampler. So every time that you make a mark with uh, the stylus on that tablet, it records sound from those two mics, and you can build up these like looping ambient soundscapes. Uh, I'm not sure where to look, so like there's like the camera right there. Anyway, you're fine. You're doing it perfectly. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, uh, it's hard. It's a little hard to share because everything's on all the headphones. So maybe if we put the headphones close to the uh, mic, I don't know if that'll work. Who right. knows? Um, so okay. just try it here. I'll reset it for you really quick. So uh, you know, if you actually do this mic, people will hear it really oh. actually live. If I do wait, which mic? This mic, the one that's up here. Oh, like this? Okay, cool. Yeah, except now your hands are in front of the camera. Uh, okay, there you go. All right, cool. It's a complicated process. <laughs> Can people, anybody in the chat, if you can actually hear the sound, let me know. Yeah. People in the chat are not are not uh, not not being forthcoming. We can hear it. Too. Cats. So you have to say something while you're drawing. I know, I, I can't draw cats and talk at the same time. That's that's fair, neither can I. <laughs> awesome. Good. What's that? The peace bomb? Uh, the peace bomb? Yeah. No, where's the peace bomb? Like, you don't have to go there right now. It's like, okay, okay. Okay, okay, we'll come by. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Can you tell us about this project? Tell us your name, where you're from. I'm Shelton, from China. Also, change the page at the same time. You can see the water is crazy. Can I try it? You can tell us about it while I'm trying it if you want. I suppose, what happens if I do two hands? Because I can't. You put, here, hold this. Yeah. And are these tuned? Did you tune them? Mm -hmm. Did you tune these to specific notes? Uh, no, it's yeah. just random. <laughs> yeah. Great job. It's beautiful, amazing. Thank you built this whole thing. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, can you give us a quick uh, quick uh, uh, explanation of this? What's your name? Sure. Um, hi, I'm Sun, and this is my project. It's called Access. The inspiration is accessibility. Um, and I want to create something that uh, give everyone and anyone uh, an awesome interactive experience regardless of what limitation you know you may have. Um, so this interaction is uh, designed for two people. One is supposed to be visually impaired and the other person is uh, supposed to be hearing impaired. And um, I wanted to give each of the two the ability to create um, or to control the same sensibility that they're lacking for the other person. So if you're visually impaired, you'll be creating visual effects for the other person. And then if you're hearing impaired, then you create sound experience for the other person. That's beautiful. And have, you, have you done user testing of this with uh, people with different uh, abilities? Um, so in our department, we have uh, one student who is blind, um, so I have input from him and from various uh, 
uh, classmates as well as uh, the people who have been visiting our um, show the last two days. So. Awesome. Great job. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> okay. Let's move this way. <laughs> We've got a crowd going now. Looks like a fitness thing. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go check the peace bomb since we had a request. And then we're going to head downstairs and then we'll be done. I think this is the peace bomb, but she's not here. <laughs> we'll come back. Let's see what's Hello, do you want to tell us real quick about your project? Sure. So say your name where you're from. So, I'm Zara. I'm originally from Iran. My project is Generous Lyrics, based on a 19th century uh, Schubert lyric songs. So, yeah. Can people find it online if they want to go look at it right now? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, so the URL is here. Zara K, Z A R A K 5.github.io slash project. And this is using the ML5.js library? Um, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm using an LSTM model yeah. that I trained on, on here. Great. And so what ly lyrics we just got right now are cold and not willing, then I need violence, my father, my father, er. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, well, those are some serious, serious lyrics to get through them. Great job. Thank you. Okay, okay. So we, would you like to tell us about your project? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, oh, you want me to try it first? Okay. Not me. <laughs> oh, the trigger wears me. So that's perfect. <laughs> I hacked the system. And then the yeah, there's you, the parents of the world, uh, yeah. trying to... Uh, Alright, can you just tell us your name and the name of your project um, so yeah, we have that too? Yeah, it's Eve, and the name of this project is the Narcissist Mirror. So it basically, like, um, it's using, like, speech, like, um, like recognition, and, like, when it detects the word me or I am, it's gonna start, like, drawing a photo from the webcam, which yeah. is you, and, like, this is, like, live, so, like, as you move, it moves with you. Great job. Thank you. Okay, let's check. Let's check Zora. Zora, you ready? I haven't seen it yet. I mean, usually there's always okay. some data. Okay, tell us your name and a couple sentences about your project. Uh, my name is Zofa so, uh, I'm a second year student at the program. Yeah. Our project is a project that Azaz and I work on it. Uh, it's called Painting as Kandinsky. It should be a kind of interactive drawing experience for the user. I will ask the user to do you want to just try? Yeah, yeah, sure. I will ask you to please grab the paintbrush and uh, try to draw on the canvas. Like yeah, it shouldn't be on the actually the separate day. Maybe just oh, on, on air, air or yeah. Or, yeah. As you are trying to draw something using the webcam, I will tag in your hand. And save all the position of your drawing. It's, it's a kind of loop that gets the 10, 10 points of your your movement. And it's a kind of loop. And after that, I will send this all points to different algorithm based on machine learning. I train the model to translate your result, your canvas, into pending style. <laughs> That's why you, for example, draw some line or shape, but you can see them in a kind of modern abstract form. That's exactly the thing that you're now you're drawing, but it's a real time interface. It's exactly based on your movement and your And is this using style transfer behind the scenes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, both, yeah both, both net and yeah, style yeah, transfer. Both net level part awesome. for the second IO part and also, yeah. Great job. Thank you. Thank okay. You. All right. We are, we're almost, we're heading down Just checking this. This is still recording. I'm like, I'm on this complete paranoid. This is not working. Here, let's just take a look at the peace bomb since she requested we come over here. This is the peace bomb. I don't know what to do, but we can see that it's a project made in P5. And 
Maybe I need to click this peace bomb. Light it up. Warning. Uh oh. I think the peace bomb is about to go off. Counting down. Here goes the peace bomb. Ah, peace bomb. Great. It is the color scheme that I do like. Here, do you want to do you want to switch now? We'll go downstairs. I'll figure it out. Oh, oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. downstairs and that's going to be the last area. Head out through the stairs. So the, it's a very likely that the stream will go down because the Wi-Fi is probably not, no good in the stairwell, but we'll reconnect. Another one. Jeez. Okay, okay. Great job. Great job. This is called Live Pose Music. And you can find out more at this URL over here. Yeah, this URL. This URL, yes. Well, we'll, we'll put it in. Don't worry, all the links are going to be in the video description later. your iPhone X. Oh, it's an XS, by the Excuse way. Excuse me, Just, XS. Uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't respond to me, people. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, this is this is good. We're, we have an escape hatch down here, so. So we're I'm gonna we're gonna attempt to go out in the cold because I love the projects that are facing okay. the window. Yeah, totally. Well, uh, I first thought that would be a good place to finish, so maybe we'll finish there. <laughs> oh, here we are. Okay, look at this. We found a project. Hi. We exited, this, we exited the door and suddenly there's a project. Right. Tell us your name and a few sentences about your project, Pluto. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Um, Pluto is a life-size flute. And when you blow into your phone, the balls in the flute go up. And so can you, I, we don't have a phone right now to demonstrate. Oh yes, can you demonstrate I, can, with I can demonstrate. And I just, while, while you're, we're waiting for you to demonstrate, I have to tell a little story with you. That. In 2001, I took a class at ITP called Physical Computing, and I worked on a project with two other people, Stefan and Jimmy, and we made the, we didn't make a project nearly as beautiful as this or with any of the music functionality, but we also tried to get balls to float via with fans. Oh! Yeah, so someone on the internet, resourceful people on the internet, so you can find any record of this project actually existing. That's so funny, yeah. I really I'll have no to idea. try to dig it up, yeah? No? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so we're gonna begin, and then we can click on these tubes, and they light up as you click on them. And then, if you talk into the microphone really loudly, or you blow, then they go up. <laughs> and then after a few seconds, they go back down again, and they time out, and then you can try again. And this project is a collaboration there for you? Yes. Um, they change, and you have, and they look. And so people could, who are watching right now could, could do this? Yes. Oh wait, so go to Fluto.us <laughs> if you're watching this and let's see. On your phone. Can, on your phone. And let's see if we can see some drive. It's live. Let's see what happens. There's going to be some lag and so forth. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> 
samples um, and you can kind of dance around 
make a beat, and then also record to this 32 step sequencer. So um, now I put it in record mode. It's gonna remember you know, what I put in, and it quantizes it, and then you can kind of like make a little beat. Some of the pads are. the beach. I feel finally in the beach. And what's on the, what's, what's on the iPad? That is the Animo tab that you can just like every note, 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 every Yeah, 
All right, tell us your name and a few sentences about your project. Hi, my name's Effie, and I'm showing my nine new interface for music expression class project. Uh, my music instrument is called the War Fan, and then is a human body scale holding fan that opens up in two directions. I'm going to show you. This is one direction. Should we try it with the speakers just for now? You yeah, know, yeah. The exact, uh, yeah, yeah, we can try it. Let me yeah. just refresh the session for you. Just you have, you can put any card you want, wherever you want. Okay. Just one rule. Uh, the color has to be facing this way. And I would start Got with the green one here. Okay. That's my... Okay, here we go. You ready? With the color facing the way? <laughs> you just gave me the one <laughs> rule. And I already go here. At the bottom or at the top? At the top, like this. Yeah. And it. I would Got try, it. I would start here. Okay. It's a little more... Uh, There, I got it. So this is your uh, rhythm section, your melody, your harmony section, and your melody section. And you, and you're composing a musical arrangement with uh, three components of music: rhythm, harmony, and melody. And depending which part you put in, where, you bring different sounds. They're compatible with each other. And it's yeah, it's very hard to appreciate. Take it 
Be okay? I'm fine. Okay. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. All right, we're gonna go outside. We're gonna finish up. This is gonna be the last two things we're gonna look at. Whoops, we're outside here on uh, Broadway. Fresh air. It's actually not that cold. Oh nice. my god, it's like it's like remarkably quiet out here. It's kind of nice. It's very it's like, quiet. This is like the. It's so peaceful. Okay, so this project here, there's no one here to explain this project. Oh yeah, there is! Okay, <laughs> uh, can you tell us about your name and about your project? Hi, my name okay. is Azalea. Well, let's start over because I messed that up. Okay. Alright. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hi, my name is Azalea. Uh, I'm Amitabh and uh, this is Caricatron. Caricatron is a robotic caricature artist. Um, it doesn't understand human faces very well, so it tries its best. Okay, I see a nose here, a little mouth. And uh, yeah, so you, we can have a look at character. You can just take your photo and draw a very poor portrait of you. <laughs> and have you guys been standing out here since uh, 4 o'clock? Yeah, yeah more or less, maybe a little earlier. It, this feels like really refreshing to me. To wow, I just, re I just realized <laughs> you're not here. I know, but because I've been inside. And, uh, I mean, is there nobody here? No, unfortunately. Right, we'll come, we'll take a look at that. Okay. All right, we're going to, so I'll stand in front. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is sound in front. Uh, it's hard to see with the reflections, actually. I think it's much, much better from this. And you built this entire contraption, yeah? Yep. Yeah. What's uh, good? What's uh, like? How are you getting this kind of like two D control? Like, yeah. Uh, what do you so, need to make that happen? Yeah, we're using <laughs> a, a CNC pen plotter. Actually, it's called the Axidraw uh -huh. um, from the Evil Mad Scientist guys. So that's yeah. an Axidraw, but this yeah. is actually expanding its exactly. Uh, space. Exactly. Oh so my goodness! The Axidraw wow. can draw in an A4 letter yeah. size space, and it's just the entire metallic-looking. It's an actual, actually just foam core uh, thing. Uh, just extends the uh, range by two and a half times. And have you sent this to Evil Mad Scientists? Have they seen they, it? They have been like very that. helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and the way it's drawing actually is just like a deodorant roller <laughs> on a touchscreen <laughs> tablet. So it's just... Wait, uh, maybe we'll need to see this. <laughs> this is a deodorant roller. Like and from an actual deodorant. From an actual deodorant. And that works on a on capacitive... A, it's a resistive It's a resistive, screen. so you just need pressure. Exactly. Amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can sort of see that a little bit. That's amazing. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Okay. Should we? Let's take a look at it. I don't know. This is it, by the way. Oh, yeah? Alright. Oh, I'm getting breaking news. Russian hackers released new code. The White House denies any security breach. Protests that nuclear weapons scheduled around the country. Uh oh, we see a Pinocchio now. Uh, the reflections. So who made you guys know who made this project? This was uh, uh, Napier, uh, and um, well, <laughs> these are both these are from the uh, yeah. Is it a lot of, like, the fact that you installed it in one? Yeah. Did that make it kind of easy to install here, or no, it ended up becoming its own? Sort of I think it was slightly yeah. easier. I mean, yeah. a lot of the stuff we kind of made, so, like, it was, like, modular, so we could, like, take it out and then put it back yeah. somewhere else. And, yeah. I think because, like, people were, like, wanting to show, like, yeah. On, yeah. at this show as well, yeah. so, like, I think they thought ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this, I'm going to stay, I'm going to wrap up out here. Right, because we're outside. Yeah, it's I'll a put, beautiful night. I'll walk around. So. <laughs> um, so
So uh, thank you everybody for tuning in to this uh, live stream. <laughs> I don't have anything meaningful to say at the end. Um, okay, so let's see. If you want to know more about the projects, um, you should be able to go to itp.nyu.edu slash show, and that would give you a big list of all the projects. If you want to learn more about the programs here, uh, just search for TISH, that's T-I-S-C-H, School of the Arts. The two programs are ITP and IMA. Uh, ITP, again, it has its 40th anniversary coming up this fall. IMA has its uh, three-month anniversary, like tomorrow or something. This is the first year of the undergraduate program here. Um, so this video, as soon as I stop, as soon as we shut this down, um, this will get archived so you can go back and watch the whole thing. At some point in the next couple days, Mathieu and I will get links to all the projects in the video's description. They won't be there immediately. Um, we'll also probably make an edited version, just like a highlight reel of a bunch of projects, so you can stay tuned for that. And in theory, the audio, I think, has probably been mostly okay. Well, who knows? We might try to like re-upload this entire live stream, but just with uh, the audio from this microphone. This microphone is not actually doing anything right now, um, dubbed over. Oh, and everybody who's watching this right now, can you please like put some like clapping emojis or smiley faces for Jenny, who's been holding this camera the entire time, the heroic effort. Um, uh, uh, I think this was our best, like most technically perfect, not perfect, our most technically working live stream, right? Audio, at least I can't see the comments, so maybe that's not the case. <laughs> but at least people could hear, and well, last year nobody could hear, okay. so that's good. Anything else? Are there any important questions you've seen come through? All right. I'm sorry. Oh, isn't it cold out there? It, it is, is. It is cold. It's about actually. It is. Um, uh, it is 44 degrees according to the temperature that my watch is telling me. It feels colder. That's the. Uh, I don't know what bus that. I was gonna say there's a bus going by. We could like. This would be like so fun to just like hop on a bus and like keep streaming. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. But that would be sort of. Now we have like a. This is sort of like a thing. Okay. Um, I think you might have to press the stop button. I mean, I could come around. All right, we're stopping this now. One? Yes, that's it. That that turned that that's it off. Yes, end.